Harwich is on fire. At least part of it. Next! Cape Cast. So Ryan, what is going on here today? We're uh, burning. Uh, about a year ago, uh, a group of AmeriCorps Cape Cod, uh, with the help of uh, Harwich school children, as well as kids were actually from off across the Cape because Cape Cod Tech was out here too, uh, cut hundreds upon hundreds of plants of invasive bittersweet, which is, as you know, one of my pet peeves. Uh, it's taking over Cape Cod, and we, we need to get rid of it. So uh, they cut it, and they stored it here in the, uh, in the burn pit here at Thompson's Field, um, and we have to make room for this year's project. So uh, it's got to go. Amy, what's your take on this whole thing? I just see it as a great collaborative effort here today between people, stewards from the town, from the Trails Committee, um, from the Harwich Conservation Trust. So it's a really a great opportunity for us to work together on a project. And we're looking forward to having more burns here in the future and taking care of what needs to be taken care of at Thompson's Field. We've really tried very hard to keep them at bay, and uh, it's an ongoing effort, and we're going to just try to get rid of these and eradicate these invasives. Now, what are these species, and what can they do? Do they choke off trails? What, yeah. what do they do? Well, um, Eurasian bittersweet, Asiatic bittersweet, uh, is an invasive. We uh, introduced to this, this area, unfortunately, and if you go along Route 6 or um, any of the side roads and you see these uh, beautiful majestic trees draped with these vines that look like a little bit of a, a, a dress over them, just uh, hanging off them, um, uh, that is bittersweet. It really, uh, really is a big problem on Cape Cod um, with a host of others. And basically the, what we're trying to do here is trying to give our native species an upper hand so that we can have a more biodiverse uh, flora and fauna. About four acres was cleared last spring uh, by AmeriCorps and, the, and the, the school kids coming out here. And this entire pit was filled uh, just a few short hours ago. It goes quick when you have this many great volunteers. So Ryan, I see one gaping flaw in this beautiful plan. There are no marshmallows. Can you address that? Okay, so uh, you all know about the marshmallow shortage in uh, the U.S. right now. I mean, there's shortages of lots of things, but unfortunately, there was a short shortage of our favorite Jet Puff friends. Shocking news, maybe the biggest story of the day. No marshmallows at the super healthy, wonderful burn in Harwich.